we have a system of linear equations here that we'd like to solve. And as I look at this, I'm thinking to myself, how should I go about this? How should I approach this problem? Well, uh, I could solve for one of the unknowns that I have. Uh, in one of these equations, solve for x or solve for y, and then substitute that into the other equation. Uh, that would be a tad cumbersome, though. It would be a little bit tedious. I think a much better way to approach this problem is to use the, uh, uh, the strategy known as elimination. And with elimination, what you do is you multiply both sides of one of your equations, or sometimes both of your equations, by a constant so that, when, so that later on, when you add up your two equations, one of your unknowns goes away, it cancels out, which is why we call it elimination. One of the unknowns gets eliminated. And let me tell you what I mean here. I'm going to take the top equation and I'm going to multiply this top equation by 2. Okay? Now you might be wondering, why 2? Well, it's because when I multiply 2 times x, I get 2x. When I multiply 2 times 4y, I get plus 8y. Now you see that when I add this to this, my y's are going to cancel out. Okay? The y's are just going to add up to 0. 2 times 11 gets me 22. And so now I can add this line to this line, and let's see what happens. 3x plus 2x gets me 5x. Negative 8y plus 8y gets me nothing. 3 plus 22 gets me 25. And now I have a very easy uh, equation to solve. 5x equals 25. I divide both sides by 5, and I get x equals 5. Okay, I'm not done yet. I still have to take, uh, I still have to solve for y. So I take my 5, I substitute x for 5 in either one of these equations. I'm going to go for the top one because it looks a little bit easier. And so this gets me 5 plus 4y equals 11. Subtracting 5 from both sides, I get 4y equals 6. And dividing both sides by 4, I get y equals 6 over 4, which is 1.5. So my answer is the point 5, 1.5. Just to make absolutely sure that I'm right, I'm going to take this and I'm going to substitute x for 5 and uh, y for 1.5. And uh, let's see, I'm going to get 3 times 5 minus 8 times 1.5, which is 15 minus, I believe that's 12, and that gets me 3. Yep, just what I wanted. So now I'm very confident of my answer.